to a terrific Tuesday. I'm Lydia Dollar and this is the WBE Wildcat Chat. I'm in Joshua. Today is Tuesday, Friday, February 2, 2021. We have a lot to chat about, about with all of you WBE Wildcats. We need everyone to stop with their what you're doing and stand up quietly for the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Hey guys, this is Mason. I am going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Ready, salute, play. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which stands one nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. Now take a moment and focus on the kind of day that you want, like, have today. Now it's time for the most important thing. Let's hear about today's lunch menu from our kitchen correspondent. This is Tyler reporting live from the WBE Star Cafe. Today for lunch, our chefs are preparing cheeseburger, cheeseburger, french fries, salad, or fruit. Yo, I can't wait. That sounds delicious. Today is an important day. Day for so, some of our students and our staff, it's time to wish some very special people a happy birthday. Good morning, West Bainbridge. This is Isaac, and I want to say happy birthday to some people, but, I, but no one has a birthday today, so let's just celebrate everyone. Happy birthday to all of you. Now, to help us all stay healthy and safe, we head over to our health expert. It's Ricky, Tuesday's health expert. This week, we are focusing on how to stay. What should you do if a stranger sends you a message online? My parents know that they're safe to email or chat with, but sometimes I get emails or messages from people I don't know. If a stranger contacts you online, you need to tell a teacher or a grown-up. It is the same thing as if a stranger tried to talk to you in real life. Stranger, stranger danger is real even online. I love here about ways to stay healthy. Now let's power up our vocabulary words with our words of the day. What up, West Bainbridge? This is Alexis. Our power word is crumple. Crumple means to press or crush so as to rumple or cause wrinkle. Here is crumple used in a sentence. He crumpled up the piece of paper in his hand and threw it in the trash can. Some cinnamon, cinnamon or words that mean the same thing as crumple or crush and wrinkle. There is so much to learn about in our world. I wonder what we will learn today on Fascinating Facts from this park. Did you know that only monkeys, humans, and possums have opposable thumbs, meaning thumbs that can move? And out of all of those, the possum is the only one without a thumbnail. I guess they can't go painting their fingernails on Friday night, can they? <laughs> Fascinating! Every day we try to be better people. Let's hear about character words of the week.
This is Clayton. Em empathy is about sharing an emotion with someone or feeling the way they, s they feel. When you feel an emotion along with someone else, that's em empathy. If you ever felt sad with a friend just because he was sad, that's empathy. So, if, for example, if you feel sad with your friend because he didn't make the soccer team, that's empathy. Sharing his sadness is a kind of empathy. Of course, kicking off Black History Month, and we want to turn now to Nightline co-anchor Byron Pitts. We're going to get a little history lesson on this Black History Month, on how this month grew into the celebration that we know today. February means is officially Black History Month, a federally recognized celebration that gives every American a chance to reflect on how African-American achievements have contributed to U.S. history and how African accomplishments have impacted the world. But what's the history of Black History Month? It all started with this man, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, known as the father of black history. In the early 20th century, while earning a master's degree from the University of Chicago and a PhD from Harvard, Woodson grew increasingly frustrated with racist representation and exclusion of African Americans in books and conversations that shaped history. So in 1915, he joined forces to establish the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, which is now known as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Led by Woodson in 1916, the organization launched the Journal of Negro History, which published African American history in honor of the achievements of people with African descent. In 1926, on the second week of February, Woodson and the ASNLH organization launched Negro History Week to promote the study of black history in universities, schools, and the black community. So why February? Their group originally chose the second week of February to include the birthdays of Frederick Douglass, who escaped slavery to become an abolitionist and civil rights leader, and Abraham Lincoln, who signed the Emancipation Proclamation. The growing awareness highlighted achievements in race pride within the black community and gave all Americans a new understanding of black culture. And during the civil rights movement, civil rights workers opened freedom schools in the South, which embraced the week to celebrate the message, among other things. As black studies programs spread their movement to universities and campuses across the nation, the week transformed into Black History Month. In 1976, President Gerald Ford officially declared February Black History Month, urging Americans to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. And the rest, as they say, is history. Remember that Friday is our class dojo behavior reward. Make sure you are working hard to make positive choices so you can earn those points. Remember to try not to make negative choices and lose points. Now it's time for us to sign off for today. We will see you next time. WBE's Wildcat Chat. West Cambridge, Elementary is the best for to be held. Boys and girls all come here with smiles upon their face. For a good education, West Cambridge is the place. The wildcat is our symbol, colors white and blue. We will face the future with spirit for and true. East of West Side, all around the town. West Angel, our retreat is the best.